Ursa Minor is a small constellation located in the Northern Hemisphere. Constellations are a group of stars forming a pattern that is traditionally named after its apparent form or identified with a mythological figure. The purpose for the constellations is to help us tell which stars are which. On a really dark night, an average person can see about 1,000 to 1,500 stars. Trying to tell which is which is very difficult. Forming constellations help by breaking up the sky into more manageable bits. International Astronomical Union, IAU, adopted official constellation boundaries that defined the 88 official constellations that exist today, Ursa Minor being one of them. The names of constellations are given in Latin because Latin was once the language of learning. The names used by the Greeks, Egyptians, and other people were translated into Latin. For convenience, the ancients named the constellations after a certain figure that it seemed to form in the sky. They referred to the mythological or legendary men, women, and animals. Ursa Minor became known as the smaller bear or lesser bear in Latin. The Great Bear is represented by the larger neighbor Ursa Major. Ursa Minor was first arranged by the Greek astronomer Polytony in the 2nd century. Ursa Minor is usually associated with several different myths. First, in Greek mythology, the constellation represents Arcus, son of Zeus and the nymph Callisto. Callisto had sworn a vow of chastity to Artemis, but was later unable to resist Zeus's advances and the two had a child, Arcus. When Zeus's wife Hera found out about the betrayal and the child, she turned the nymph into a bear. Callisto spent the next 15 years wandering in the woods and avoiding hunters. One day, she came face to face with her son. Scared, Arcus drew a spear, ready to kill the bear. Luckily, Zeus saw the scene and intervened before it was too late. He sent a whirlwind that scooped the mother and son up to the heavens, where Callisto became Ursa Major and Arcus Ursa Minor. In another myth, the seven stars of Ursa Minor are identified with the Hesperides, the seven daughters of Atlas who guarded Hera's temple and orchard in which apples that bestowed immortality grew. The stars of Ursa Minor were once considered to be a part of the constellation Draco and formed an asterism called the Dragon's Wing. The Greeks also sometimes referred to Ursa Minor as the Phoenician. Phoenicians used Ursa Minor for navigation more than they did Ursa Major because, even though it was smaller and fainter, Ursa Minor was closer to the North Pole and a better pointer to the North. Polaris, the North Star, is famous for holding nearly still in our sky while the entire northern sky moves around it. 
Polaris is not the brightest star in the nighttime sky, as it is commonly believed. Polaris is only about the 50th brightest, however, it is the brightest star in Ursa Minor. Polaris marks the way due north. As you face Polaris and stretch your arms sideways, your right hand points due east, and your left hand points due west. To locate Polaris, all you have to do is find the Big Dipper pointer stars Stubbe and Merrick. These two stars outline the outer part of the Big Dipper's bowl. Simply draw a line from Merrick through Dubbe and go about five times the Merrick slash Dubbe distance to Polaris. Polaris hasn't always been the North Star and won't remain the North Star forever. For example, a famous star called Thubbin in the constellation Draco the Dragon was the North Star when the Egyptians built the pyramids. But our present Polaris is a good north star because it's the sky's 50th brightest star so it's noticeable in the sky it served well as the north star for it helped when the europeans first sailed across the atlantic over five centuries ago Ursa Minor contains one star with a confirmed planet and has no messier objects. The brightest star in the constellation is Polaris, the North Star, Alpha Ursae Minoris, with an apparent visual magnitude of 1.97. Along with Polaris, there are six other stars that make up the Little Dipper. Yildon, which lies below Polaris. Yildon is the fourth brightest star in Ursae Minor. Travel south of Yildon and you will see Eurydellus, the fifth brightest star in the constellation. These three stars, Polaris, Yildon, and Eurydellus, make up the straight handle of the Little Dipper. The handle and the bowl are connected by Alpha Al Farcadae, a main sequence star. The bowl of the Little Dipper consists of three stars, Anwar Al Farcadae, Furcad, and Kokab, the second brightest star Ursa Minor. Ursa Minor has one elliptical galaxy, the Ursa Minor Dwarf Galaxy. It was discovered by A.G. Wilson of the Lowell Observatory in 1954. While being part of Ursa Minor, it also has a satellite galaxy to the Milky Way. The Ursa Minor Dwarf Galaxy consists mainly of older stars, and there appears to be little to no ongoing star formation in the Ursa Minor Dwarf Galaxy.